Hi guys! I wanted to come to you today with a book haul that I have done for the month of March. I have gotten them from several different places. Uh, Target, Walmart, Barnes & Noble, Amazon, the dollar store, and Books A Million. So I've been a little bit everywhere. So I wanted to let you know what I've been doing. So I have a very hard time sleeping and um, my doctor gave me uh, some instructions on how to, you know, w ways to sleep better and everything and he got them from the Sleep Institute website or something. I don't know what he told me. Um, but I went on Amazon and I got a book, The Sleep Solution, Why Your Sleep is Broken and How to Fix It. And in this book, it says to read it like it's a novel. Don't go flipping around and seeing what you think you need. Just read it. And this guy um, knew he wanted to be a doctor when he was younger. And he loved sleep. So that's what he ended up doing was being in sleep. So a uh, sleep specialist. So that is something that I want to see if this can help me out with my sleeping because... I have issues of getting to sleep, staying to sleep. I have to take medication to sleep, and um, it's probably not the healthiest, safest, but you gotta sleep. So that's what we're doing on that. Um, today I went to a dollar store, and I found this book by Jane Cochran. It's The House of Brides. And what I'm reading is it's kind of like this kind of a haunted house or something but uh, this girl is like a social uh, media influencer and a product that she promotes goes awry and she falls from grace and so um, her mother had been an author and I think she wrote about this book or wrote about the house of brides the the hotel and the restaurant that's here and it's like every bride from every generation something has happened to them and this girl is one is one of the people from that generation and so she wonders if she will um, suffer the same fate so I found this and I thought it sounded kind of interesting so I got this one today um, it was the most interesting out of all of them that I saw there today, and um, I picked it up, and I thought it would, and you can see this, I don't know if this is letters or something that's in there, but it just looks very interesting to me, so I got that one. Um, I went to Books A Million, and this is from two different runs to Books A Million. Uh, several weeks ago, I got this one, and it's by Cynthia Dupree, I don't know. Uh, Sweeney and it's called Good Company and she wrote The Nest which I have over there that I need to read it as well and it's about marriage motherhood and friendship and it's about a lady who her husband said she finds an envelope and it has her husband's wedding ring in it and he um, he claimed he lost it one summer when their daughter was five and it has something to do with her, uh, her husband, her daughter, and a friend. And so the friend, her friend went to Hollywood before them. She's a star now. And then they had a theater back in New York, but they moved to California. And um, apparently there may be something there that she didn't know about. So I thought that sounded really interesting to me. And I loved the cover the flowers and stuff. I saw this at Barnes & Noble in the window, but I couldn't find it once I got in the building. So I found, finally found it at Books A Million. I remembered it was blue and it had pretty flowers on it. That's all I remembered. So when I read it, I was like, okay, I think I'll like this one. So I got that one from uh, Books A Million. Then I got the Jane Austen Society by Natalie Jenner. And this one sounds like it would be a really interesting book. Um, it's just after the Second World War in the English village of Cotton. I don't know. That's apparently where um, the final home of Jane Austen was. 
it after the First World War, it um, little remains of her legacy, a few distant rev relatives, and their diminishing estate, including the cottage where Austin wrote and revised her books. And there is a group of people that want to preserve her legacy, and it is a farmer, a young war widow, the village doctor, an employee of Sotheby's, a Hollywood star, a local solicitor, the anticipated heiress to the estate, and a precocious house girl. And these are the um, people that uh, want to preserve her society and um, they had their own struggles, their own loss. So I, it sounded like a really good book to me. So I wanted to give that one a try. Then from Walmart, I have already read this one. This one is a five star to me. I absolutely love this one, but I wanted to let you know what I read. I got this like right after it came out at the beginning of the month. Um, it's The Paris Apartment by Lucy, Lucy Foley. And it is about a apartment building in Paris. And there is a bunch of people um, in this apartment. It says there's the socialite, the nice guy, the alcoholic, the girl on the verge, and the concierge. Everyone's a neighbor, everyone's a, a suspect, and every no everyone knows something they're not telling. See you in Paris. This is a really intriguing book. I absolutely loved it. I did not see a lot of what was coming. I know some people's like, oh, I figured it out. I knew exactly what was going to happen. Apparently, I'm just too stupid to know that. So, and I was really happy about it because it was a very good book for me. Um, but this girl, she um, was li living in England and something happens in England. So, she needs to stay with her, um, I think he's a half-brother. or Yeah, he's a half-brother. And he lives in this apartment building. And when she gets there, he doesn't answer his phone. He doesn't answer the um, door or anything like that. And she gets in the apartment building in his apartment and then it's game on. So this is a very interesting book and I really loved it. So I was sad to see it and because I was really loving that book. So I got that. Then I got The Tuscan Holiday. And it's about a mother and daughter who planned a trip to Florence. Apparently the daughter is, um, she's 21, newly graduated, and close to her mom in many ways. But she's always been more the PBS type <laughs> than the mom. And so they go on this uh, Tuscan thing. I guess her mom was a sing yeah, her mom was a single mother and so she doesn't want to end up like her mother, but then um she I don't know what happens in it, but she goes on this vacation and she I guess breaks out of her PBS lifestyle a little more. Um I'm not sure she breaks out of it totally, but that's what it's saying on this. And it sounded like it was very interesting. And I love Tuscany. I love Italy. Anything when I, I saw the picture on this and it said Tuscan Holiday, I was like, yes, please. I'm going to read that. I want to go there someday. Then I was at Walmart last week and I got, I grabbed two books. Um, a Kristen Higgins. This will be the first one I've read of hers. I know there's a bunch of them out there that are good. But this one is about a woman who, um, she's just been un- um, rejected by her lifelong crush. He turns around within a couple of weeks and gets together with her best friend. And then there is a British professor who has an unofficial stepson. I'm not really sure what that means. But his visa is about to expire and he gets together with a girl and they have like a fake marriage. But it turns around and they, I guess, fall in love before it's all over with. And so she wants to get back. She's hiding from her best friend. Um, and she wants to make the ex jealous and stuff like that. So it sounded like it'd be a really interesting book. So I grabbed it and the little dog on there. It's so cute. So, yeah. Um, and then I got this one. A lot of people are talking about this. And I am kind of worried that it's going to scare the crap out of me. 
but I guess if the Paris apartment didn't scare the crap out of me, I might be okay with this one. Um, it is about a woman who, um, she is hired to uh, write the rest of the novels for a lady who's become um, incapacitated, I think due to an accident, and her husband, the lady that incapacitated the author, Verity, um, her husband hires this woman to uh, keep writing the the um, her books for her, like as a ghostwriter. And what she when she starts going through the notes of this woman, she finds an autobiography in there, and her the woman's husband loves her very much, and but the lady finds this manuscript, and she's like, if I show it to him, will it? Um, will he be devastated or will he be mad or you know what so I think this sounds like a very interesting book I know there's a lot of twists and turns in it so um, kind of excited and kind of scared at the same time to read it so um, that's that so I went to Barnes and Noble um, I guess it was Tuesday I went to my doctor that day and I was so mad by the time I got out of there and then I had he made me mad then the lady that drew my blood she really made me mad um, she was rude she was hateful I was done so the rest of that it just tore the rest of the day up so after I got off work that night I usually do not leave my house after work or during the the whole week like after Sunday until Friday or Saturday I don't leave my house generally as a rule but that night I was like you know what I'm going to it was Tuesday night and I was gonna try to see if I wanted the Janet Ivanovich the the new book she has out apprehension agent or something to that effect so that's what I went to Barnes & Noble for yeah I didn't come out with that book but I come out with three books but it wasn't that book so the one I ended up getting was French braid and this is about a family <laughs> that is on their first and their last family vacation. And it's in the summer of 1959. And they hardly venture away from home. And they, none of the family, they're very, um, they're not very close at all. And um, they're all trying to escape their lives. It says, yet as these lives advance through decades, the Gareth's um, influence on one another ripple um, through each other. It's supposed to be heartbreaking and hilarious. I don't know how that's going to work, but um, they're all very different. They, um, the teenage daughter is boy crazy. Um, Lily could not have less in common. Um, the youngest David is already intent on escaping his family's orbit. So it sounds like it's a dysfunctional family. So I thought it sounded really interesting. And I love the cover on it. It has a weird feeling to it. But I really like that. So then I found this one. I got it solely for the front. It has macaroons on it and it's called Sweet Shop of Dreams, a novel and recipes by Jenny Colgan. And she has two more on there, the Lovely Fest Chocolate Shop in Paris and Meet Me at the Cupcake Cafe. And I saw the Cupcake Cafe there at Barnes & Noble, but I was like, just get one of the books and see if you like the author. And if you do, then you can get the other ones. So it's about a girl who lives in London, and she has a very busy life there. Uh, her aunt, um, I think she gets sick is what it, it is reading on the back. She goes to, um, I don't know where it's at, but she goes to the village where her um, aunt's um, sweet shop is and um, she helps her out with it while she's sick and helping her aunt out and um, she didn't think as much could happen in this little town as does so it sounds like it's going to be a fun book 
um, or an interesting book. So it says, a delicious rom-com about finding yourself and breaking out of routine. Sweet Shop of Dreams is full of tempting desserts, family secrets, and second chances. So it sounded very interesting to me, so I got that. Usually they have like a set of books that you buy one and you get the other one for 50% off. But since I got this book at full price, they had some books at the cash register that was the month, their monthly put picks. And so they said since I bought this one, I could get one of the books up there that was 50% off. And so I didn't know anything about any of the books. So I asked the girl, I'm like, which ones do you like the best? So she showed me two of them. And she said, this one is really funny. Um, I don't know much about it, but she told me it was kind of like a dystopian book. Um, and a girl can talk to ghosts, I guess it is. And just the first... Uh, this girl do dropped out of school to be a ghost talker. <laughs> so, but the first line is, I'm not really supposed to be doing this, but a, a girl's got to get paid. So here we go. And I was just like, oh my gosh. But the girl says it's really funny. So I thought, why not throw it in there? Because I'm wanting to, to break out of like, I used to just read uh, Julie Garwood or Janet Ivanovich books. So I wanted to break out of that and see what else I could get into. And then, I'm here to help get to know Syria. That's my watch. Sorry about that. Um, I don't know what I did, but I wanted to, I know a lot of people like um, Alice in Wonderland. I have some diamond paintings. I know a lot of people love it. I have absolutely no idea what it's about. And so I started asking my friends that I know personally, have you ever read this? None of them had. So I was like, well, it, I'm going to read it to find out what it's all about. So I went to Barnes & Noble yesterday, and I bought Alice in Wonderland and also and Through the Looking Glass. So I bought that. It, I haven't opened it. It's wrapped in plastic. It's got illustrations in it. And so I just wanted to find out what it was about. I've never read it in my life. I don't know anything about it. So I think it's going to be really interesting. And of course it's purple, so that doesn't hurt either. So these are some of the books that I found that I want to read and get through. Um, I'm already, um, the month of March, I have about four more days. And um, I'm at another eight books that I've read. I read eight in February, one in January, and I've already read eight in March. So I'm going to see what I get through by the end of March. And then I will um, do a review on that. But I wanted to let you know what I had gotten. If there's any books out there that you think I will like, please let me know. Or if you, you know, just let me know if something that's different out there, you think I'll like it. Leave it down in the comments. I definitely would love to know that. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe, please do. I would love to have you here. And I will see you guys in my next video. Have a good day. Bye.